Hi you guys, we're back and uh, so I've let this dry for a little bit. I didn't like the way the third eye was looking. So what I'm going to do is I've laid out my pants, uh, not my pants, I'm sorry, my paint, <laughs> my paints. They're still the same. Some of them may have switched a little bit, but now that the uh, paints are still the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, of course, my linseed oil, a little bit of cat, man, red light. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of um, burnt sienna on there with a little bit of yellow ochre. And then on the side by itself, I'm going to add some white. There we go. A little bit of white there. Then I'm going to do one right here. Add a little bit of blue. Very tiny bit of blue. There we go. See, it's really strong. And um, there we go. More. Here. Yellow ochre. There we go. And uh, I'm going to... I need to buy a microphone. I'm going to touch up her skin right here. So it's a little combination of both. See how that looks. Right here. It's looking a little... I wasn't li liking the way it was looking. Maybe a little bit of... Um, Alizarin Crimson and Sap Green. More Alizarin Crimson. More Sap Green. Gives you that nice dark color. A little bit of... Um, Burn sienna and some white. More burnt sienna to darken it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna add that here. See how it looks. Yeah, I need a little bit of this in here. Let's grab a little bit more. Give me that nice color. Yep, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Right on the head. There we go. I'll go a little bit more. Just dab it right there. Oh, I was saying. I hope I'm not blocking you. Um, there we go. Let me add a little bit more. I'm also going to do one with blue. So let's get some alizarin oh, crimson and a little bit of blue. I think that's where I need to go. Yep, there we go. more. Yeah. That was the color I was looking for. There we go. I'm also going to grab some of this color, half tone, half. I'm trying to lighten it up, one a little dark there, I'm going to add more white into this. A little bit of that cool light up here too. One thing too is um, that little half tone. So I want to get that in here. It's a little too light, so let's get a little bit of this. 
and then okay, this is a little too light. So let's go. Just trying to add more of those shadows, more of those cool colors. And it is cool, so I have to go with this. My little doggy. He just came in from outside so you hear him. make a little bit more on the Zarn Crimson and the blue. More on the Zarn Crimson. Help me make this. Hopefully it's not too light. A little bit more warm in there. my brush so I can spread this out. Okay. You rinse this and I'm going to soften it. Soften it just a little bit. Um, this color. 
Zvartek a Dvíja Pansiena. Trying to get this to go. But I need it more cool, so I'm going to have to add a little bit of this. A little, it was a little too dark, and that's why. But I needed it cooler. I need a little bit of a lizard crimson in there. I need the coolness of it. Do too much glue, but it has to have a little bit of it in there. What's this? The right here. This. This is a little bit right here. this so I don't pick up any more of those colors. Now I want a little bit of a combination of the uh, burnt sienna and a little bit of that ye yellow ochre. But I also want a little bit of that red in there that I had. So grab a little bit of white in there. There we go. I want to make sure I don't go too light though. to be so chalky. But I also want a little bit of cool line on that. are going to be highlighted the ear. Something here. No, people have different. I have an ear that's thicker than the other. Right here. It's okay. A little 
clavicle. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take it back, alright, so I'm going to do a little bit of the hair, and of course for that it's going to be, because she's got black hair, it should be a little bit cool, with a little bit of blue, just a tiny bit, because that blue is so powerful. But I want you to know that um, I'm like not completely done. Because she is going to have highlights. So, well, I'm sorry, her aura is going to be coming through. So. Um, I, I am planning on giving her a crown, so I'm going to put a crown there on her. I'm always envisioning her. looking in the mirror behind me. Now another thing I want to touch up on is um, when you put yellow and um, white, so this is um, a little bit of a lizard crimson and white. It always makes things come forward. That's what I'm doing. And it's okay if it touches the toe. Okay. 
normal. Just adding the colors in there to make it harmonious. Yellow milling brushes, and you don't know which one to use. Maybe I gotta clean this so I'm not always trying to find brushes. There we go. I still want to give that. I lost the illusion of coins in the background, so I'm gonna do this, do this, a little bit of white because I want it to be soft. So I had some of my alizarin crimson with the, the blue and I added some of the um sap green so that it can give me the illusion of that there's plants in the background remember I, I lost all that and I still want to have that just give you the suggestion of things being there okay and it's just going to be really light just very lightly in the background I think here I have the uh, snapdragons, one of my favorite plants. I'm just going back and forth. I want it to be soft. When things are further away or farther away, um, they're softer. They look softer. There's not so much focus on it as when things are closer to you. So, just scribbling back and forth. Side to side, upside to side, down, side to side. I'm trying not to get too close to what I'm still planning on doing. And here I think I got too close. Okay, rinsing my brush. And I'm going to soften it with this. Use. I'm just going in circles, really soft, circles, side to side, C, circles. You know, you're trying to scribble. It's just scribbling. My next painting is going to be military inspired. Uh, my husband was in Iraq. We went to a few trips, a few tours, and uh, I want to do one for um, the um, Patriot. The um, it's really hot when you turn to <laughs> do two things at one time. The um, wounded warrior. I think it's the Wounded Warrior project. I want to do one for that. Um, so this, we're just going to come here, pick up some of these colors that have been laying here, and just dab them on there. Yes, I want to do a Wounded Warrior photo. And um, I would like for you guys, if you guys can help me, um, I'm going to speed paint it, show it. I will make it um, 
available for those who want to purchase it. I'm just dabbing it really lightly, just very lightly, okay? Barely letting it touch. Um, if you guys can help me, I want to make that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it available. I'm going to um, print. I'm going to actually sell it. So all the pro, and it's going to be on eBay because I don't charge if you um, do a donation. And it's going to be on the Wounded War for the Wounded Warrior. And um, if you guys can share it, if you can, you know, if you want to bid on it, that, that would make me feel really good. Uh, but if you can, and if you know somebody who can, just sh sharing it and um, the video so that way people can buy it if they want to, place a bid. All the proceeds will go to the Wounded Warrior Project. And, uh, go on here. Okay. Um, all the money will be donated to them. I will make prints available if you guys want to buy prints from Red Bubble. And those proceeds would go to me, the, the print. But the actual painting itself will be for the Wounded Warrior. So I would really like it if you guys, um, when I'm done, share the video and I will provide the YouTube page to go with it. So now, if you guys can do that for me, that would be so good. All the proceeds, of course, Wounded Warrior. Okay? A little bit of yellow. Do my part to help the soldiers doing a painting, and you guys do the part by sharing. And um, hopefully, bidding on it and winning it. If you know anybody who's military or anybody who would like it, I already worked it out. I will do the process of painting that too, sharing it with you guys, and to help our military men and women. So it's linseed oil and yellow. With some white. Okay, with your brush. Just spreading it out so you can radiate. The paint is so soft, uh, so thin with the um, linseed oil, we're able to do this. And that's fine, I can always come back here and touch up on that. Lifting some of that. This is also how I do my clouds. Clouds. We'll grab a larger brush in a little bit. I noticed I got this like really woven canvas, and I've noticed that. It doesn't soak up the paint as well as I hope. yellow paint.
just hold it there. Doing the kind of like watercolor effect. More yellow with linseed oil. There we go. Just the yellow, adding more white, and seed oil, giving that watercolor effect. Hi you guys, we're back. My husband had called and uh, so I went ahead and shut it up. So what I did is I added more yellow in there. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. I'm going to grab my brush again. I was using a soft brush. I'm like, where did I do with that brush now? Also, I'm just going to grab a different soft brush. I don't know what I did with the original one. So here's another one. It's a soft brush. Excuse me. So this time I'm adding thicker paint. So I have the white. I'm adding a little bit of cadmium yellow and a little bit of the uh, cadmium yellow light. I'm sorry, yellow ochre and cadmium yellow light. That's what I'm doing. And it's thicker. So I'm doing that right here. This uh, canvas is actually more for impressionistic art. That's why the weave is so separated. So if you want to do more impressionistic art, then what you do is you get a, a canvas with a thicker weave. I was just experimenting with this canvas. And uh, if you want to do portraits and faces, this is probably not the best. You would need a one with the um, one that has a... Um, You know, that's almost like, almost flat, kind of. Very smooth, smooth texture. How's that? So this is what I, I'm just going along, adding that paint. Those colors, the thicker it is, the better it goes in there. Put that yellow, kind of yellow, and kind of, um, yellow ochre. Putting them in there. Because I want some yellow to come through with her. This is what I did. I just added the thicker paint since we have brushed some of that very thin paint on there. So now it's the yellow paint and it's thicker. I also want to do it to maybe so it kind of comes through here too. Right, so not this. More white. So I'm applying the paint quite thickly. Very thick. But being careful not to take it off. To
I'm also going to work on her crown. I was debating whether to do a crown or not. I'm going to take up this part of the dress because I, I just think it's too much. It'll be too wide. So I'm taking that off. Looks better like that. I could also put some white in between some places. I could come out further out. I love this yellow. It's really pretty. That combination of both yellows. Such a pretty combination. Okay. Now I'm going to grab this brush and I'm just going to soften it very softly. It's okay if it touches the hair because I'm going to work on a crown, remember? That's fine. You can always go back and touch it anyway. And you would expect some of that light to come through in the hair. So we have that. And I'm going in circles. I'm going out. Very softly. I'm not putting a lot of pressure because if I put pressure on it, what will happen is I'll lift that paint and I don't want to do that. So the softer I go, the better. So I'm just brushing it out. Wiping my brush, cleaning it, because it'll start picking up and keeping that paint, and I don't want to do that. I'm going now. So it looks like she's glowing. Remember, this was thicker paint. I'm going to let the paint come through. Here. There you go. There. Doesn't that look more believable than to have it just like that? So I'm brushing it very gently. So I'm going to do this all to all of it. Here. 
here I am going hard so it brushes it in here. I want some of that yellow to come in here. Put it here. So I'm trying to spread some of that yellow that I picked up in this brush in here. You can come back later. This is a nice arm workout. <laughs> resting my arm a little bit. <laughs> you can take breaks if you want. I'm drying some of that paint. I like the way she's looking. I wanna, I'm gonna do that here too. But right now we're gonna work on her crown. So I'm gonna bring her forward or zoom her in. I come back a little bit. So you can see everything that I'll be doing. A little bit back. Just a tiny bit. I just want this to kind of show her face. I almost broke my finger trying to do this. Let me see. It all seems like with these things, it just... That looks better. Okay. Um, flabby. A smaller brush. I'm just rinsing that brush that I applied yellow with. So I'm grabbing my um, this little scumble brush, and I got this at Walmart. And I'm going to use this particular color. Okay, some linseed oil. Also, I want to add some of that blue in there that I had. Remember, this is a combination of um, alizarin crimson with sap green. And then I just added a little bit of the combination of the alizarin crimson with the blue. So I'm going to give her her crown. Hmm. 
I'm not worried about being too specific here. I want it to be the, um, this way so you can see her. I hope I'm not blocking you. Because it's going to have branches. I almost pulled my paints to be. So. I'm going to add a little bit of that shadow she will have. Now she's also going to have a little bit of a highlight for the I can make it a little bit darker. More lizard and crimson, more sap green. Adding green. I have some, um, here's the green, with a little bit of purple. Um, I have some, I can use a combination. What is it called? Oh my god. Uh, my sister loves it. Um, I'm just going to go down like this. I grow them for the butterflies and to keep fleas away from my dogs. Um, lavender. That's what I grow. Lavender. I grow a lot of butterfly plants. I have a butterfly garden. So, and a hummingbird. Because I like hummingbirds. Okay, so we have that. Now we're going to add the purples. So I'm going to put some um, some of this purple, some of this red. Ah! Not red. A lizard crimson. Blue. That's so white. Look how beautiful it looks. This is going to have all the little um, 
They're not grapes, but this is like for the shadow. And the reason I'm doing it this color here is because it's supposed to be a little flowers um, of the um, chakra. The third eye is this color because I didn't like the way it was looking before. So I went ahead and decided to take it off. Also, there is the um, a hummingbird bush, or the butterfly bush, hummingbird or butterfly bush, that have these colors on them too. So, and I've been really particular. Now, it's just going to be this color here. For the, um, I don't want it to be like just one size, all of them. That's why I'm moving him around. Letting all those colors blend. yellow in there to kind of give it that nice highlight. Okay. It's not picking it up because it's too dark. I mean it's too watery. So let me try it again. There we go. the same yellow we had. It gives you a nice gray. The butterfly bush is one of my favorites. I have like five or six of them. I think that this also needs to have a little bit over here. It's combination colors. Mm -hmm. 
also going to do this. She's going to have a beautiful... You do the flower right here with this purple. This is a butterfly catching flower. I'm going to do that. Add some wine to that. It's a comb flower, that's what it is. That's what I have some growing. some of that yellow. I had contemplated that if I didn't like the way um, the... I'm going to grab a little bit of this color and mix it here. Um, the way it was looking with the... Um, watery. But I didn't like the way it was looking. The third eye that I would do this. I was looking at crowns. Like crowns like this. Get out of flowers. I'm trying to plant some of that in there. Some of this. Not a lot of linseed oil. More white. in the comb flower, the um, butterfly bush.
I'm going to allow this one to come over the uh, this flower. That more white. Green, green, a bit of blue, purple I guess, green and a little bit of purple. But I do want some green in the front. I think it needs like a little bit of greenery. yellow to go with that. More yellow here. This right is really yellow right there. Shadows. So we get some of that shadow. Is there a crimson? A little bit of blue. A little bit of green. Trying to make it not so...
Mona Tree Mom. A lizard crimson. in here. The direct shadows in here. They're like dark spots, you know. Okay, so let's pick up some yellow to highlight my leaf. because I put a lot it's just gonna blend in now if you're finding that you're like putting in lights and nothing's happening well then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some darks some butterfly bushes on her. Okay. You know? Mm. You have to wait till it's dry because it's picking up everything. Picking up all the colors, the dark mm. colors. Mm -hmm. I like it, huh? She looks really nice because of the colors for the chakras. So. She's going to have butterflies. This is going to be butterflies. I'm going to add a little more detail here. Maybe some leaves on the ground. You can turn close the door yet because it picks up the sound. Okay. Are you going to stay? Or... Mm -hmm. Love. Love. So, they're continuing. My daughter just, just coming in to check up on her mom. Okay, so I want to add more color to this. Oh yeah, I was seeing and it's more blue. I was looking at this stuff. So if I'm going to add more. Oh, I got to zoom out. Hopefully you like that. I'm going to have to touch up on it, of course, more. 
So, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Maybe a little bit further. There we go. Let's just see. I guess. Alright. So I'm just touching up underneath because um, I was looking at the shadows. I'm putting some sap green with my um, indigo color. And I was looking at the shadows and because I was like, I need to make sure that this stuff comes out right. And shadows are blue outside. So I'm going to add some of these to kind of give it form. Make it stand out. Make them stand out. yellow. It doesn't matter to me that these colors come through because they're all the same. All these colors are on there. Some people call it mud. I just think that it's nice to put all these colors in there. So I'm just dabbing very lightly. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing some of the uh, cadmium yellow light and I'm just dabbing it like just sliding my paintbrush and allowing for the texture to take place in there. So you do see the texture. I'm just gliding it and dabbing it very lightly. This is actually what this canvas is for, to do it that way. Just dab. Gliding it. Okay. 
Okay. And the texture. Adding this. Some of these colors. Okay, if it comes out. That way. Yeah, it's not just in. Allowing some of this color to come in. More yellow. There you go. So now, I like the way she's coming along so far. Um, I am going to move. Let me make sure that you can see the bottom. Yeah, you can see the bottom. Let's see. There you go. Trying to make it to where you can see and bring it back a little bit. There. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some green to this purplish. And I'm just gonna go horizontally. Hopefully you can see this. Just back and forth. I'm going to move my chair. I don't have much time. I saw that I was running out of time, so. I want to create the illusion of leaves. So, let me add a little bit of seed oil on that. It's fine with me if this picks up. Go sideways. I don't want to go too close to the corner because I don't want your eye going there. should come here so I'm gonna face this out too. And then soften it so the eye doesn't go there. I'm just pushing it. I will add a little bit of lime in there to kind of the colors there you go. a smaller brush. Yeah. Remember, we're not completely done with her. Um, here's a smaller brush. I just want to add a little bit of leaves and things like that. So. Grass leaves. I'm gonna get down a little bit. Hopefully, I'm not in your space. I'm not blocking. Mm 
I'm just going sideways. The leaves will be thrown. to see what grows. Sometimes I go walking my dog and I see these little Dying leaves just going everywhere. I guess that should seem more like plants, right? I do like making myself really bright. I just love color. I did have a girl, or somebody asked me, why do you use so many colors? I like them. I love color. You know? Sometimes some people just love color. And I am one of them. a little bit of purple. This is these little purple vines too. Adding shadows.
when it's too strong you can always come and take some off to lighten it too so that way you don't add too much focus plus it's a nice way to highlight things Yeah. Mm -hmm. 